So I'm going to demonstrate my program to display all six analog values on the screen. Just to show you, this is a regular Arduino Dumilinove. This is the 328. And um, this is a regular ProtoShield. Um, this particular screen is an ST7565 and it runs on 3 volts and um, the Arduino is 5 volts so we use this little chip that I soldered in here to uh, step all of the voltages down to 3 volts, the communication lines. This thing cost me about $16 and they have a pretty good um, tutorial to show you how to wire it up so I'm not in any way trying to replace that. Uh, go watch that first. But I'm just going to show you real quick um, what some of these w wires do. These first two wires are the um, power for the backlight. And um, on the circuit you can see that I have a 100 ohm resistor like they suggested from the positive over and then this other one is ground for the backlight. Well, the next two wires are ground and voltage. Then the last five wires are for communications. Now, <clears throat> they ship this screen with this little chip. Um, and what this chip is for is your standard Arduino voltages um, for the communication lines. These, these five um, are five volts on the Arduino. But this little LCD screen requires three volts. In fact, I fried this one because I hooked up five volts to it. So, if we turn it back on here. We can see the voltages are kind of floating around. I'm going to take a potentiometer take the outside pins and put one to positive and one to ground and then the center pin will be our signal we use so As you can see when I turn the pot that uh, AI0 is going you can see the other ones are kind of floating around um, let me add one more really quick to the second one we'll see that second one will go and just because those floating numbers are kind of annoying I'm gonna take a resistor and pin the next one to ground and that should take care of most of them we could pin them all to ground but just pinning the one helps so you can see by turning this We've got 0 to 100. I've actually scaled it in the program. This one's the same. Let me quickly go through the Arduino sketches. Um, to, for starters, I'm just going to go through a sketch that has a single analog, and then I'll show you the one with 6. Um, for starters, we include these libraries. We go ahead and declare some integers, a character, a couple of integers. This is just uh, standard stuff for the LCD screen. We're going to uh, set up these pins to be used for the serial communication. It's nothing you uh, need to, to really worry about. Declare the uh, height and width. Then the void setup, more stuff for the screen. The loop. Um, is where we do the interesting stuff. For starters, we'll um, go ahead and read our analog point and put it in the temp variable. I believe I'm a little confused about this line right here, but I think that we're taking our value and um, we're multiplying it by 100 
to remove the decimal place. I'm not sure about that one. But uh, this line here, um, essentially what happens is the GLCD cannot display a um, real value. It, it can only display a string. So in here we're going to convert it to a string. Um, here's our new variable. Here's some static te text. And then we're going to add this, uh, the value in. So once we got everything converted to a screen, we can go ahead and clear our screen. And then we're going to um, move the cursor over to 0.0. .0. And then we're going to write the variable that we created up here and then we're going to make it display and then we're going to wait a second and start over here is the sketch that shows all six analogs and it's basically the same thing uh, but you can see we're declaring more variables here for use down below so in my loop we're going to read all six analogs. We're going to do the calculation. Um, this one is a little bit different because right here we're taking this variable and divided it, dividing it by 10.23 which essentially takes the value which is 0 to 1023 and it scales it down to 0 to 100. So this line is scaling our, our value. We do some magic here. We turn it into a string and we do that for the rest of them, all six of them. Then we go ahead and clear the screen right before we draw and display. Um, the first one I did, I was actually drawing uh, every time I read one of these, but it slowed my uh, loop down uh, incredibly. It was about 10 times or more slower than um, going ahead and doing all these calculations first and then displaying them. Uh, right now, my loop can uh, execute maybe every, say, 50 milliseconds. I mean, it's really fast. Um, when I was drawing, the drawing t must take a lot of time because when I was drawing on each line, um, on the screen you'd see it draw one and then draw the next one, draw the next one, and it would take about a second for it to loop through, and it, it looked horrible. Um, but this one definitely... Uh, has some um, good, very responsive.